Some months back I was doing some research for a video on his work on and I came across a uh, certain uh, activists from South Africa who wanted Google to review uh, their terms and policies because they felt that a lot of great African content were policed in terms of uh, African dressing and the truth still remains that uh, if uh, we're all dressed up real cool, you know, uh, wearing European type dressing, then we're fine. But if we wore lots of more cultural outfits coming out of Africa would be considered as uh, showing some form of nudity or the other and we might uh, get our content taken down. So the question remains, why is it difficult for us all to express ourselves, you know, for who we truly are and showcase what is culturally appropriate in our own places, you know, maybe to persons uh, who come from the same cultures or persons who might be interested in learning about our way of life and not uh, be punished for being who we are because uh, this is the argument they try to make. You know, so when they talked about ladies going shirtless, you know, and these activists coming from uh, various South African culture that are known for going shirtless, you know, male and female. They wanted to be able to showcase the culture without having uh, to be punished for it. And well, I don't know to what extent that has improved, but there is just uh, one little thing that occurs to me as odd. And that is uh, the world has uh, thousands of cultures and a lot of these uh, cultures are considered either appropriate or inappropriate. Uh, depending on uh, where the, the cultures come from, you know, uh, this may or may not be a case of racism, I think, uh, but maybe it's just a case of uh, misunderstanding because the way I see it is, uh, you know, growing up as children out in the streets uh, playing, you know, most people wore boxer shorts and it's still very normal. You know, in some parts of uh, Nigeria and across many African countries to uh, run into children who are, you know, totally nude, you know, playing in their innocence and nobody wants to sexualize that. Nobody seems to uh, think that uh, they are showing off a bit too much skin or that they are nude because all we see are just people, our brothers and sisters, right? But then it's also not difficult for me to understand uh, that when the Europeans came to Africa, they were coming out of a repressive society you know, where women had to wear Victorian type uh, clothing that uh, shrouded them from head to toe and they had to cover their fingers. And then, you know, you know, people weren't exactly free in, in uh, old Europe. You know, men had to be of noble birth uh, to you know, to have anything that looks like a good life. And that was what they had at the time. And when they came to Africa and they found uh, people who were free, you know, having a great time, you know, dressing as the pleased. Uh, well, because they already had perverted minds trying to imagine what uh, women were like without dresses and they were having all that in abundance. They couldn't help but sexualize uh, people and it was a matter of good dressing and bad dressing as it against diversity which is what it is so if we want to talk about diversity its home would be africa yeah because uh, you look at uh, africans from uh, different parts of the world who traded for hundreds of years before the colonialists decided to to come invade our lands and steal our resources you know the arabs traded you know freely with the kingdoms of benin traded with the Ibos, they traded with everyone you know and the Arabs were mostly Muslims who wore turbans and covered up all of their bodies. But they didn't have uh, problems trading with the Yorubas or with the Benis or with the Igbos who were not uh, as covered as they were because it was just business and they probably didn't have minds as perverted as the Europeans did. So I think there's a lot of perversion and a lot of insensitivity happening around here because people don't want to understand uh, that we all are different and our job is to accept one another rather than to judge one another and i hope we all can come to terms with this kind of understanding and i think one other uh, issue i have on the channel when i show uh, truly uh, african content is having people uh, come to the comments and they want to uh, show me bible passages 
that prove or disprove uh, some elements of the content I've made. I mean, we're open to all these opinions, and I love it when people do that. But the Bible is not a universal standard and uh, should not judge cultures coming out of Africa because the Bible is not African. And I know I had a, a very long conversation with someone who said, Yes, Africans are the true Jews. We are the real Israelites. Uh, those people who live in the, in the nation of Israel, they stole our identity. <laughs> Alright guys, don't worry, think about this in the comment section. We shall talk about this some more in a separate video. And then maybe I can do a little bit of uh, exposition on the, on the Bantu people. Because, you know, that's where all this confusion comes from. They are the Bantus, are the true Jews. Come on guys. Please. let's talk about this in the comment section and um, I will make a video on that and we can talk about all those some more uh, so thank you for watching do give us a like leave a comment uh, share the content and you know do whatever you can to help uh, support the channel we're depending on this to stay <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're depending on this channel to survive so you could also consider becoming a patreon yeah you could you should consider becoming a patron too. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Now go watch my videos on the channel. That's how you help us grow. Peace.